So making homemade yogurt is a fun and easy process and it'll yield a really healthy and high quality end product. And uh, so I just wanted to walk everyone through the process which it's really a worthwhile endeavor. Uh, first off, to do it, you're gonna need a thermometer. This is like a, uh, basically a candy style thermometer. It only has to go up to about 180 or 200 degrees, uh, but typically you want something that's gonna stand up in the pot. So for that, you have a candy thermometer. Any sort of cheap digital thermometer will work, such as this one, but you'll have to poke it in as opposed to leaving it standing up. Then you have a pot. This is a La Crusade or a Le Crusade. Uh, you don't need something like this, but this sort of size is helpful. And maybe it's, uh, I don't know, a four quart size, something fairly big. Uh, then you're gonna need milk. For this, I would say get the highest quality milk you could find. I like this Arethusa. This happens to be available here in New York City, but uh, you have to buy something regionally that works for you. Uh, Organic Valley is, is fine, I guess. Uh, again, look for something high quality if you could find it. Lastly, you'll need some way to start the yogurt if it's the first time. This uh, yogurt starter is a good way to go about it. Alternatively, you can find someone that you know that makes homemade yogurt and use their yogurt. That's really the best way to do it uh, is like start your yogurt with someone else's yogurt. Uh, this starter does work. What you can't use is like a factory yogurt, like a Dannon or something like that. That will not work. But you can use a live culture yogurt. It'll say like live culture, acidophilus, something like that on there. And then uh, it'll work and you'll see how to do it. Uh, anyway, so just to get things going, we're gonna get the milk, I'm gonna pour it in there. Very simple process. They're gonna put the heat on low. Like, you know, low, medium, low, whatever, uh, until you hit about 180 degrees. And it uh, should take about 15, 20 minutes, but uh, don't rush it because you might scald the bottom. Okay, so right about when the milk hits about 180, 185, turn off the heat. The uh, temperature will coast up a little bit. Don't worry about that. It's uh, the process is pretty reasonable. You don't have to worry about a few degrees here or there, but you definitely don't want it to get above 200. So keep an eye on it, but don't freak out. Uh, now, right now what we're gonna do is going to let it cool right as it is till about 120 degrees. A slight skin will form on the top of the milk. Nothing to worry about there. You can just leave that and pour it into your yogurt. Uh, at this point, the, the milk is about 120 degrees, maybe 125, and it's time to pour it into our vessel. This is just a uh, glass storage container. Uh, give it a really good clean, which we're gonna have the yogurt in there. Alternatively, you could use a mason jar and a funnel that works fine. It's a really flexible, just use what you like. Just make sure you really give it a good clean ahead of time. So I'm gonna use this and uh, pour it right in. Okay, so here on the right, I have my previous batch of yogurt. I'm gonna get a little bit of that, just kind of usually I'll use the leftover, but in this case, this is fresh, so I wanted to do a demo. Uh, get some of that and scoop it into the warm milk. In this case, I split it up into the jar and to the larger container. And you don't need a whole lot. Really just a few tablespoons. But uh, as you use this more and you figure out how you like your yogurt, you know, more or less sour is the main variable, you'll determine how much milk, uh, how much of the older yogurt you wanna use in your new yogurt. Okay, and that last step is very simple. Basically what happens is that the live cultures in this warm milk 
have to stay warm for a few hours to do their job and basically turn this warmed milk into yogurt. Uh, so what you're gonna do to keep it warm is put it someplace where it could has some insulation. I know some people just throw it into their oven and leave their oven off and uh, come back the next morning. I've had not the best luck with that just because uh, if it's cold, your oven might not be warm enough. If you turn your oven on, you could forget it or you know turn it on too long. It just, it's a tough thing to do. So what I do is I like to just wrap it in a towel. So basically, if you use a, you know, any sort of beach towel or anything like that, that basically could just wrap this up. And that's all it is. Uh, nothing fancy, just wrap it up. And if you do this at night, call it like 10 o'clock at night, uh, when you wake up the next morning, you know, seven, eight o'clock, whatever, it'll be ready to go. So it's just basically overnight in an insulated beach towel or bath towel, anything like that. Has to be enough that this stays warm for a few hours, but again, you don't need a special towel or anything like that. The uh, thing to know now is that the longer you leave the yogurt out and warm, the more sour it, the yogurt is going to get. So if you like your yogurt sour, go ahead and give it, you know, eight, 10, 12 hours. If you want a kind of a light, more commercial type yogurt, do less, do eight hours or so, and it'll have more of a milk flavor and less of a yogurt flavor. It's definitely worth experimenting with. And then if you have a container like this, kind of a less standard size, the same thing applies. Put your lid down on it, wrap it up, and give it, you know, eight, 10 hours, and you'll figure out what amount works for you. So that's it, that's how you make homemade yogurt. Thanks for watching.